Now we're going to define the norm of a vector. Okay. In our case, we're going to assume that we are working in the 2D and we're going to use this notation here for our vector u that has coordinates a, b. Okay. So when we represent this vector, we always do it with respect to the origin. So this is my vector. It has a as the x coordinates and b as the y coordinates. For me, the norm is the length of these. This is the norm. This is the length of this vector. Okay. So if I call it h, okay. Now I have a a 90 degrees here, and I can use the Pythagorean theorem. I know this is a and this is b. Therefore, I have h squared is a squared plus b squared. So if I want to find h, I take the square root of a squared plus b squared. And I note this one, I denote it by the this notation. This means the length, of, or what we call the norm, of the vector u. Okay? We can extend this one. And note before that, that this is just a number. The length of this one it can be 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, 7. It's always a number in R. Okay? The positive numbers. Okay? It can be 0 and uh, it's a length. Okay? That's positive. Okay? And it's a number. I can extend this definition. So here, if I can use, uh, if I have a vector in 3D, that has coordinates a, b, c. The norm in this case is going to be the square root of a squared plus b squared plus c squared. Okay? And if I have, if my vector u is, let's say, in Rn, okay? It has n component. Let's denote them by a1, a2, an. In this case, I can define the norm as the square root of a1 square plus a2 square, etc. plus a n square. Note that these are just numbers. The length of something is always something that's positive. Uh, sometimes we use a different notation. It's not it's different, but it's a, a compact uh, uh, notation here, I can use the sum here, sigma of the a i squared i from 1 to n, and it can have 1 half. And this is the norm of u. Okay, so this is the same thing here. And this one, in the case of uh, uh, 2d, means the, the length of this one, 3d means the length of the vector. And in uh, n d, it means the same thing, the length of that segment. Okay, so we're gonna use this one in uh, next, and this is just a quick reminder. So let's say if we have a, a vector that has coordinates one, one, so the norm of u is gonna be the square root of two. Why? Because one squared plus one squared is just two. Okay, if I have a vector that has coordinates minus one, three, so the norm of u is going to be 1 squared plus 3 squared, 1 plus 9, which is 10. So the norm is 10. Okay? The only case when this norm is 0 is when its uh, coordinates are 0. Okay? We can prove it directly from here that the norm is 0. If u is 0, 0, that means 0, 0, 0. That means the norm is 0. But if the if we have this one is equal to 0, that means A is 0 and B is 0, and therefore the norm is 0. Okay? So the norm of a vector is 0 only if and only if all its components are 0. Okay? So this is uh, a quick review and a, a notation simplification of what we need. Thank you.